Hey, it's that guy here. Uh, today, I got a knife I've been thinking about getting for quite a while. It's the BK7. It's made by K-Bar. And it's known as the Becker Combat Utility. It's made in the USA. And the reason, one of the reasons it's BK7 is that it has a 7-inch blade. Now, it comes in this... Kedora nylon sheath and the sheath is rather interesting two main drawbacks I have here is that on the sheath there's only one way to retain the knife in the sheath and that is this snap and as you can see it kind of wiggles around in there it will slide out fairly easy so if that snap fails, this could fall out of the sheath. On the inside of the sheath is a plastic uh, guard to keep the knife from cutting the, the sheath up. This sheath is uh, used on the BK-7 and the BK-9, which is, has a 9-inch blade. It's got some good things going for it and it has a couple of different tie down eyelets for tie downs you could um, put a cord around here through the eyelets and use that also to uh, secure your knife in the sheath if you're worried about uh, it coming out and one thing I think is rather cool is that the back has a snap and velcro and you can remove it from your belt or put it on your belt without taking your belt off which might come in handy and then also it has molly on the back the snap here has another little loop here you can use that for uh, doing tie downs and it's a fairly uh, substantial sheath here now this sheath the front of it has a pouch it's velcro and it has a slot in there to put another knife the knife that they made for this uh, to go in here is a BK 13 remora but it also on top of that it has a little pouch here with the elastic there to hold whatever's in there and one thing that will fit in there is a diamond sharpening that you can uh, that way you can carry around that's one thing that can go in there but pretty much anything else could uh, that will fit in there you can put in there and you have a little storage compartment for some extra gear and that's the sheath um, like I said about the only thing I don't care for I think it would have been kind of cool if they put some kind of a retaining clip in there that would hold the uh, the knife secure in the sheath so you don't have to worry about it falling out now let's go back to the knife go over the specs on this real quick the handle is five and a half inches the blade is seven and a quarter inches and the overall length is twelve and three quarters inches it weighs in at thirteen point three ounces so it's not uh, super light the sheath weighs five point one ounces and the knife is made in the US the sheath has a tag on it, it says made in China I believe yep right there so as you can see it says BKK bar there so the total weight of everything is 18.4 ounces and that's not including the second knife you could put on the sheath 
So this could become quite heavy. It's a uh, made to be a uh, a field knife, uh, secondary combat knife. The blade is three sixteenths of an inch thick. It's fairly stout. Has a um, powder coating over a 1095 quart Covan blade. It is a uh, very sharp right out of the box and if you don't like the black G ivory uh, handle you can remove the three lugs and get uh, aftermarket handles they've got the fake looking ivory ones I think I've seen some uh, red and camo colored ones so you can uh, pimp your knife out to the way you want. It's also got a lanyard hole down here where you can uh, put a lanyard in to help secure it to your hand uh, if you have to use it for chopping. It's got a, like I said, fairly thick blade. Comes down to a very stout point. Um, this is meant to be a hard worked use knife. And I will find out. I've got the BK2, which is a 5-inch blade knife, and this is a 7-inch blade. And I liked it, or I still like it. Um, it comes in very handy. It's just built like a tank. Uh, full tang. And uh, it's one of the few knives I would feel comfortable with actually using to baton wood with if I had to. If I didn't have an hatchet to split wood, so uh, that's about it. And if you have any questions or comments about the BK7, please leave them below. And remember, always be prepared.